Hey guys, uh, Eddie Blanco here, the broker of Stratwell. I'm gonna be going out to a property now in the beach. It's a condo, um, and we're gonna just check it out. First time getting in access to the property. Gonna see what, um, what the property looks like and go ahead and get values and things like that for the client. Like this is, you know, you have like you protect, oh, you have your protection. <laughs> Stay away. Stay behind. Six feet. Six feet. Yeah. Google, check out this. Check out this. Check out this interactive display. I just press twenty. And it's showing me visually the whole floor. Let's figure out. Nice. You know they have an assessment of this building. When I see all this repairs, I'm saying, woo, someone spent some money. Oh, look at that. Walk in. Wow. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see. First thing you see is this big white building with a ladder going up and you know you see structure, you see roof, you see metal. It's not what you thought you were going to see when you signed up to go see a waterfront building. So you know this is very important and you know you really have to capture that and understand what building line it's in and what view it has looking out the building, out the unit from the living area. This is my view every day. Every day I get a view of this rooftop. I gotta do some work to be able to see some water. Gotta come all the way out, and then I can get us an angle view. Not the same. The further I go, closer west, uh, closer east to the to the front of the building, the more water I get access to. But you know, the nice view here, I would say, is you, you get a downtown view. You know, again, you have to be out on the balcony to enjoy that. Um, what you see from the living room every day is that building's roof. Next thing I want to check out is what the view is like from the master bedroom looking out and it's pretty much the same. Got a little bit more of the same, a nicer view of the downtown, but the view is so important in a condominium. The height of the floor, the view that it has, there's nothing that replaces coming out and seeing it for myself. That's why I come out here and make sure we get it right from the beginning. So you got some things that definitely date the house, these shiny pet, you know, uh, pattern floors. They look nice, they, you know, they're in good condition. Um, they're pretty neutral, so it's not terrible, but definitely something that someone's going to probably spend the money on. You got things like this that date the house. This is something that should be removed. It's a it's a keypad uh, entry, probably not functional, and should should have been removed a long time ago. So I always I'm a big, I'm a big stickler for things like this. You when when um, you know, it's really not expensive to get these doors hung right and, and working right. When, when a door is doing this job right here, it makes the whole property feel like, you know, like when, you're, when you're trying to show a property, excite a buyer, and they hear that noise, it, it, it lowers the whole emotional experience. And you definitely want to take that out. We put a video together on the tips to maximize the sale of your home. And in there, we break down some of this. And here's a perfect example. This is an item, easy fix get a good dollar for your return. So then we go to this bathroom. I wouldn't touch anything in here. It's clean, it's functional, it's painted. You know, it's freshly painted. They chose this color. I didn't, I wouldn't have chose that color. It's too, ye too yellow, but it's fine. It, it works. Um, the, and the fixtures in here, there, there's, not a, there's not a whole lot of value in trying to change it. If they wanted to spend a couple hundred dollars, we can go ahead and just change those fixtures and, and it'll, it'll be, that'll be a good spend. Here's another one, you see? I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn to battle with the doors. <laughs> but, all right, peek in here, I want you to check this out. Um, so it's a stackable. Now what I wanna know is, is this done on the side? That, was that 
approved? Is that allowed by the association? Because if it's not, we need to know it and we need to disclose it. So we'll definitely spend the money to fix this door. Oh boy. I'm not a handyman. Looking here for the electrical panel, I just want to make sure that all the all the covers are there. I'm not an electrician. I'm not going to start taking panels out, see if there's double taps and all that. I will recommend the client spend, you know, $150 or whatever to get the ins inspector to come out, you know, city, not a city guy, but an electrician to come out, open it up, check it out, make sure there's no issues. Um, it's worth it's worth the investment, especially um, if we're going to go before we start a whole renovation process. Now, it's not the case with this house. I mean, it's pretty clean. It's, I mean, it's fresh and painted. It smells good. Um, again, the one thing I would have definitely got out of it is this silent night security system from 1967. I don't think that's going to bring a whole lot of value. Um, that should have been just taken out, patched, and painted in the wall. Let's see. The gamble. Let's see if the door opens. All right. It did its thing. It worked. That's it. AC's cooling well. So that's a wrap. I'm going to head out of here, um, get back to the office, and start typing away.